Hey guys, it's Josh. Today Apple released iOS 6.1 and I was going to give you a quick overview of how to get to the update, some options, and what it looks like to help prepare you to update your iDevices. You're first going to want to find your settings, go to General, and Software Update. It's going to look for the update and if it's available for your device, you can click Download and Install, hit Agree, and it's going to tell you that you're going to want to save the battery, connect it to a power supply, or you can connect it to iTunes. And I already updated my iPad, just depending on your kind of data connection or your Wi Fi connection. It's going to vary on the speeds, but the iPad I'd say took about 10 minutes altogether. But this is what it looks like. Since your iPad was updated successfully, there are just a few more steps to follow and then you're done. You're going to want to enter your password. It's going to update your cloud settings. You're going to go through a messaging option. Just check off the ones that you want to use. And then that's pretty much it. And then you just start using the iPad. Right, and just to show you the improvements, it's going to include more LTE support for more carriers. Complete list of supported carriers will be at apple.com and follow the link. You can also purchase movie tickets with Fandango using Siri. That's going to be in the United States only. iTunes Match subscribers can now download individual songs from iCloud. New button to reset the advertising identifier. And if you want more information, just uh, click on that link when you're ready to look at it. And that's all the information on iOS 6.1. And since I started this video, this is the progress on the iPhone 5. It's preparing the update at this point. And I'll be right back with you when it finishes. The iPhone is now verifying the update. It's fixing a reboot. Installed a software. Alright, the update is completed and it's going to take you through some steps just like the iPad. And you're going to sign in with your Apple ID. All right. It's going to update the iCloud. It's going to ask you about your messaging. And the iPhone is now set up and you can start using the iPhone. And that's it. If you need any help with your iOS 6.1 update, let us know. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.